There's a database called the Apps Database. It has about 12,000 people in it. It's maintained by CalDOJ. Um, it, it is folks that are not allowed to legally possess a firearm because of a felony conviction or a adjudicated mental health issue that this, this uh, has, has stripped their Second Amendment uh, rights. So that Apps Database used to be about 18,000 people. The legislature has funded for years money for law enforcement to go check on folks that are in its apps, APB, I think it's Armed Prohibited Persons System, I believe is the acronym. Uh, but we still have 12,000 people in California today that we know of that cannot legally possess a firearm be because of criminal problems mostly, uh, and we do not know whether they have a firearm. So if you're, to me, the low-hanging fruit, if you're looking at reducing gun violence, Clear the docs on the apps database. That would be the first thing I would say to do. I think that's rational. Um, I think we can do probably more in terms of domestic violence restraining orders and things of, of, of that sort. And there's there's a number of bills percolating through. They get tricky because sometimes, you know, you do have a due process constitutional concern as well. Uh, but I think the I think that where there is credible evidence that somebody's engaged in an act of domestic violence and there is a, a witness to that, that and there's a court process where you can go get a domestic violence restraining order, I think the second part of that needs to be uh, the person who is restrained, we need to make sure they're not possessing firearms until that situation is resolved.